Five minutes, anything. Those girls on TikTok are lying. This is very chaotic. <laughs> I'm an engineer, like, this is, this is nothing. It's, I'm supposed to wear boots because it's stopping. Hey you guys, I just wanted to introduce you guys to our new baby bunny. Her name is Luna Shikemi. Shikemi is a Nigerian name that means to look after me or to take care of me. I just wanted to introduce you guys to her since I forgot to film an intro. And I also wanted to wish you guys a happy holidays and Merry Christmas. I can't tell you feeling the pressure. Can't tell you feeling the tension. You move your legs like this in past. Can't drive away the pressure. Like I think skill is precious. Can't chase all the friction. You move your legs like this in past. Drive away the pressure. Yeah. Oh, the time, the time I'm reparing. Plus rien n'est comme avant, quelqu'un m'a déjà soigné. Oh, le vent, le vent a bien tourné. Ne gaspille pas mon temps, une autre a su me soigner. Toi là, tu disparais sans laisser un mot. T'as préféré fuir comme un enfant. Partir sans te retourner, je t'ai prêté mon cœur et tu lui as donné ton dos. Toi tu m'as fait gaspiller mon temps, tu ne m'as pas laissé parler. Yeah. Et maintenant que tu reviendras et comme avant que tu espères retrouver celui qui t'a aimé, celui avec qui te joue. Et maintenant, maintenant c'est toi qui veux parler. Et toutes tes meilleures phrases tu veux les caler yeah. Ne gaspille pas mon temps Oh le temps Oh le temps Oh le temps Le vent va bien Ne gaspille pas mon temps Encore une fois Oh, le temps, le temps m'a Hey guys, um, so just wanted to pop on here and just say that I'll most likely be spending the night in the living room today just because I want to watch to make sure that nothing happens between Azul and the baby bunny because I, you know, I haven't picked a name yet. It's not because I think anything's going to happen, like Azul being aggressive or whatever. It's more because she's very tiny. Um, like she's a lot smaller than Azul when he was a baby, like the same age. Um, and I think she could easily slip in between the um, the gates. I feel like she can slip in between. Well, she tried, I call her at time, but she can. Um, and just for her litter training, so it's mainly like litter training right now before I start the bonding process between the two. Azul is very intrigued and interested. <laughs> he hasn't left her side. He just keeps going in and around. And she's not scared, she's not running. Um, I find that she's more outgoing than Azul was when he was a baby and still is. Azul is more chill and relaxed. Um, she was just checking everything, very uh, curious compared to Azul. Azul, like when he was a baby, he hid and did not come out for hours. Um, so yeah, um, she's been eating. She did eat some pellets. She ate a little bit of veggies. Oh my god. Anywho. Um, we'll talk more tomorrow. I'm just going to sleep here tonight. I'm starting the litter training technically today, but not like aggressively. I will start that tomorrow. Um, but she just has a lot of toys, pellets, hay, 
um and Azo is very 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 Azo leave her alone <laughs> okay <laughs> he's very interested um he's never been Azo no um he's never like since I got him he's never been around other bunnies or other, other pets in general so I know he's very intrigued um but she's eating and that's good she's very playful um I think she's playful. She's very curious. Anywho, I'll stop talking and rambling because I'm not gonna <laughs> let you guys go for the night. Um, so yeah, we'll talk more tomorrow. And we will be our official first day in the home of two bunnies. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Good morning, you guys. It is currently 7 a.m. Um, on Sunday. Um, and I'm just gonna clean up... Um, after our baby bunny um he ate all the pellets from yesterday night um that i left on the floor for her she ate everything she also had a lot of poopies on the floor but they're very tiny so it's easy to pick up i don't notice any pee stains um so that's good she's very very active this morning she and azula are like very active i'll show you guys in a sec Hey baby. So this is her litter box right over there. Um, all of this is just tiny, tiny poopy stains with a couple pellets. Um, that's her water bowl. So I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change her water bowl out. Um, clean up this place for her, and also give her some breakfast. I see she peed a little bit in the litter box. That's good. She knows to pee in there. She just needs to know who to poop in there. Um, so that's what we're going to teach her. So one of the things I started early with Azul was um, desensitizing him to the, um, what's the name of that thing? The vacuum cleaner. Um, so now Azul doesn't care the vacuum cleaner is on, he doesn't, it doesn't bother him. Um, just because from when he was a baby, I started it very, very early. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with her. So she doesn't get scared of the vacuum cleaner come in the future because I use it every day. Um and she's so active, oh my god. Oh she's so cute. I want to set a routine that matches Azul's routine, make my life a little bit easier. Um, she'll be getting breakfast at the same time as Azul. I want to see how they would behave if I give them, like if Azul will share. So I'll give the same bowl to the both of them and see if they eat it. Um, like if Azul lets her share, I feel like he will. He's so, um, he's not even aggressive towards her or anything. He's more intrigued and a little scared. Um, he always like puts his head through like, oh, thinking, I don't know if he wants, to, wants her to groom him or if he's just like curious. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put the two of them together because um, it doesn't really matter if she eats veggies at this age. Um, this is just extra um, nutrients because the pellets and the hay because the type of hay they eat is different and it's a fafa hay um, that has more nutrients and so the veggies are just extra and just to see how she and Azu do Having mainly romaine lettuce and one <laughs> sprig of mint, um, just to make sure that if she has any allergies, not allergies, if she has any sensitivities to mint, it wouldn't be an issue. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the cage and if Azul comes in, it's fine. If it doesn't come in, I'll just split up the food. Either way, this is like the size that Azul would eat. Um, 
she is just gonna get like tiny pieces um, so yeah let's hope for the best i hope nothing happens i hope they don't fight i don't think she's gonna fight i feel like Azul might fight but let's hope for the best um so yeah let's try this makes me so confused Hey guys, so I'm running a little late for my laser session, but I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing. So, um, top is from Zara, pants are from Bon Navy. Um, I'm using the um, MFK Gentle Flu Really Good as my scent of the day. Um, and the reason I'm wearing like a low cut top is so that if they want to laser my underarms, it's pretty easy. I don't need to take off my whole shirt. I just do this. Um, I'm wearing this coat from Zara. And I'm so late. God damn it. <laughs> if I'm not late for the appointment, I'll be so happy. Um, and I'm carrying this brown bag also from Zara. Um, Another layer of perfume, because come on, who doesn't want to smell? Nice. Okay, I think that's enough. I smell amazing. Um, and what else am I forgetting? I don't know. But basically, this is my outfit. I'm going to wear some white sneakers when I get outside. Um, it's, I'm supposed to wear boots because it's snowing. But... I hate boots so much. Well, not I hate them, but I'll put it off until I cannot not wear boots. Um, for now, I'm going to wear white sneakers um, and hope for the best. If I fall, I fall. Life is short. Anywho, I think I look cute. I'm very neutral and brown. Um, but yeah, let's go because we're late. So we already got our, I'm done with my laser session, so I'm just going to Bath and Body Works because it's candle day and I want to get a couple candles and I'm so nervous vlogging outside and I'm using my phone, it looks so bad, um, but anywho, yeah, we're just going to go to Bath and Body Works. So I'm done with Bath and Body Works. I'm going to Farm Boy to get some flowers. And I spent too much money in Bath and Body Works as usual. But yeah, let's go. Selfish, out in the real once more. Yeah. Wash out my way, my feelings dirty. I'm just craving for somebody's babe. Oh no, 
I can't give that love. Love for myself. Say everybody's fine, but they can't be good. Uh huh. Even if they want to do, even if they try as they envy you. Uh huh. But you belong to someone, and I'm singing. I'm just craving for somebody's babe. Oh no no. I can't give that love. Love for myself. Oh. That's them or white roses and um, like pink and white flowers. I don't know the name of the flowers. Um, just to like spice things up. Um, there, were, there wasn't a lot of selections for flowers, so I just went again roses. Um, give me one second. Let me get the other bag. <laughs> um, I also got um, some curly parsley for Azul. And his sister but I won't give her curly parsley yet until I see how she behaves with the mint um, she liked it she ate it um, but just to be safe I'll watch her for like a day or two before I introduce anything um, and then I got some turnovers they're so good are they called turnovers sorry palm leaf pastry they're so good I always buy them um, and then I got a ton of candles i'll show you guys in a sec but first things first we need to set up these flowers and you guys already know sugar um sugar ice and flower food and sprite that's it very easy anyway, let's go The right impression, maybe. I'm impressed. Oh, the feeling shook you one day, so forget. But you got a man, and I can remind you. Know, uh, before the camera catch me for forget. Ah, uh got -huh. better for play. Something like go sweet in my birthday. Mmm, if later you call me, but not later than half past six. My girl won't like this. Yeah, my group chat, they talk in my gist. Come try this, so bless romantic. But deep down, we should not be doing this. Get up, I know you, they feel like you're not know. Say you won't do mission impossible. I hope you know. Nobody has to know. So let's talk about the candles I got. I got a lot. Um, Cause it was candle day and I was like, I mean the mall might as well. Um, so I got marshmallow fireside. Um, I'm on focus. I absolutely love the wallflower and I think I had the candle at one, at one point, but I love the wallflower. It's the wallflower in my entryway. Um, so I decided to get one of the candles then I got winter. Um, one of the store shows, like one of the store associates was like, I should try it, and it smells really nice. It's very um, winter. <laughs> um, it has like a little bit of um, is it like like a almost like a a spicy woody clovey vibe. I feel like this would be so nice in like in the morning winter morning kind of thing and like this one like more like winter night over like s'mores like this smells like if you know the replica um by the fireplace this smells like it but with a little bit more vanilla marshmallow sweetie vibe but it's really good like the smoky smoky vanilla and then i got hot hot cocoa and cream i got it uh oh, why am i showing you what it looks like um come on focus yeah i got the body like body mist like the fragrance mist last year and i was like i should try it i'm not a big i love vermont scents on my body but in like candles depends i'm more of a 
woody, fresh kind of girl, not um, Gourmand. But I was like, let me just try something. Then I got um, peppermint sugar cookie. I really love anything peppermint, twisted peppermint. I have the twisted peppermint candle. So I was like, let me try peppermint and sugar cookie. And it smells exactly like it. It's like a sweet peppermint. I really like it. Um, this is what it looks like. I got lavender marshmallow, which for me is, I'm not a big fan of lavender, but this smells so good. Like marshmallow, but not too crazy. Like I don't normally like lavender, but this, this is really good. I really like it. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got holiday. Um, again, a very winter, Christmassy um fragrance or candle it smells really good i really like it um, and then i got peach bellini it's like a fruity fruity candle um it's not like a winter fall kind of um candle but in general like sometimes i don't want something so woody um at all the masculine side so i wanted something a little bit more springy i always get it like at least twice a year and then this one is frosted cranberry I feel like I've smelled this before in a candle I probably bought it before um, and I liked it so I bought it again I bought this um, last month burnt it it's finished I bought it again I love it it's sweet with like a little bit of I don't know how to describe it but if you like like mahogany if you like mahogany teak wood you'll really like this one and um I'll be back guys I have a phone call <laughs> give me a second <laughs> Put down for head, my lover. My child, my lad is one for me now. Put down for bed, I love her. My child, my lad is one for me now. Put down for head, my lover. My child, my lad is one for me now. Um, it's Tuesday actually. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, and I'm going to the mall. I just finished work. I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm gonna get some I'm thinking Christmassy nails, but I'm not a big fan of like a lot of color. But we'll see. When we get there, I'll decide when I get there. And I'm also going to do some Christmas shopping because as usual I am late. Um I just wanted to show you guys my outfit before we go. Just give me one second. It's... So I'm wearing, um, I don't know where this top is from, I've had it for so long, but just around the top, some old navy sweatpants. I'm always running late, it's not my fault. It's, beauty takes time to prepare. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing the Hugo Boss, what's the name again, I forget, Descent Private Accord. I've had this for maybe like three years, four years. I love the scent, it's chocolate and like mandarin it's like chocolatey and fruity it's really lovely my issue with it is it doesn't last long so like if you overspray you get maybe like a couple hours but i really love the scent so i still wear it i wear it more for like to bed and stuff um but i felt like wearing it today so i'm gonna wear it today and i'm gonna overspray because it's a very light scent but the um, Atomizer is so lovely. Like, see, just make sure it's showing. It's just like a very, it's like a beautiful mist. It's not harsh. I freaking love it. If they could make this in a stronger scent, I'm very happy. Um, but yeah, my tip if you buy this is spray it on your clothes. It'll last longer than on the skin. Um, but it's a beautiful scent. 
and before anybody comes in the comments said i want to choke the neighborhood i swear to god it's more of a skin scent but it smells beautiful so yeah um we are late my friend is meeting me up in the mall we're going to get pedicure and manicures because the sand in aruba destroyed the pedicure that i took there so i'm going to redo my normal pink toes because cold does not care about beauty i will be zipping up this jacket nobody's going to see me i don't know anybody in the room. <laughs> so oh let's go why do i feel like i look like a schoolgirl? i think maybe it's the headband <laughs> Hey guys i'm back home now i didn't get christmas nails because the girl in the girl do, that did my nails pissed me off um so i just got like regular come on focus it's like a regular um like plain nothing special um but yeah uh i'm just put up this hair and then we can talk about what i bought because you guys are my shopaholic friends so we're all going to do this together and oh my god I look like a mess <laughs> Jesus, give me one second okay okay so I've been looking for like um, a Christmas mug because I didn't get one for Halloween and I was kind of pissed not pissed but annoyed so i went to simon's and i was looking everywhere and i was like simon's always has the best mugs i couldn't find anything but then as i was about to leave this was just right at the door so it's so pretty i already showed you guys before but i'm gonna show you again but it's so pretty focus it's so pretty i freaking love it and it's like pretty huge so it can take quite a bit of like tea, coffee, um, hot chocolate. I'm gonna make that tomorrow. I am too tired to do that tonight. <laughs> um, and I have a lot, we have a lot of work to do. And then I got some shot cups. I've been wanting like the really high ones because the ones I have, like they're pretty, um, like they're short. And I wanted like some really high ones because 
If you're coming to drink, let us all drink wine. Okay. So this are this is the um, shot cup. I got a set of four. I got presents um, for my mom, my dad, and my sister. Um, and then last but not least, I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see the full shebang. The new litter box is here. I'm so happy. Um, it's by the same company as my current litter box. Um, I just wanted something a little bit more, a little bit bigger. And also, I didn't want the space under. Um, just because Azul hides under the... Sorry, I have too much pressure to Azul, um, And if you see my eyes moving up and down, it's because Azul is moving like... I don't understand um but yeah so i wanted this because i didn't want the space under so i don't have to clean up as much because when he jumps out or something can go under and then i have to take it up clean it every single time so i didn't want anything under um but yeah i'm replacing their litter box i can't wait and also with the litter box change i'm going to start the bonding process full on because since she got here she's been um, barricaded away from Azul. They have breakfast together, but they're not like all like breakfast is maybe like 10 minutes. Um, so I want them to start the bonding process now. Um, so starting off with a new litter box that hasn't been used by any one of them is better. Um, however, I'll put both their litter, so litter that she's using and Azul's litter together in the same litter box um just to so they can get used to each other's scents because they'll both of, the plan is for both of them to use the same litter box So that was not successful. Um, Azul, Azul chased her until she ran out of the cage of the X-Pen because she's so small she can pass through the X-Pen. Um, so I think it wasn't smart using his space in my house to, <laughs> to do that. So I'm going to move them to a neutral territory and that will most likely be my bedroom. Um, Azul has probably been in my bedroom maybe once or twice. He doesn't like the hardwood floor and there's no carpet in my bedroom. So I'm going to move them there. She's beside me right now. Azul is in the X-Pen. Um, hey baby girl. So we're gonna try this again. If the chasing is too much, um, because apparently chasing is normal. I don't think it's normal. Um, but if it gets to the point where it got where she was so scared that she ran out of the cage, I will put both of them. It's called stress bonding with all my research. Um, put both of them in the same carrier and put them on top of the dryer or take them for a walk or walk around the house in the carrier because that moving motion is scary what most people say would like take them for a drive but i don't want to drive or i can't drive so let's put that one there 
Um, so I'll take them like in the carrier together and when they're stressed they will cuddle together and that is supposed to help improve their relationship. It is 1am right now. Um, I'm so tired. Um, but this is band date number two. Um, things have been really good. They haven't had any tussle or anything. They've been pretty good. I gave them some hay and they've been munching at it for hours now. Give them some water. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them in the box tonight. I have the camera set up so I can see what they're doing. I damn it. I am going to sleep because I have work tomorrow. Um and I set up a couple I set up a couple alarms to check up on them and I have the app on my phone so I can always see what's going on. They haven't fought, they are just munching and eating. Good morning y'all. Um it's the next day. It's around seven in the morning. I have work in less than an hour. So I need to shower and get dressed. Um, but I did um, overnight another bandit. They did pretty well. Uh, there was no chasing. Um, things were good. So I moved them from the box into an, a two by two X pen in my bedroom. Sorry guys, sorry. Um, two by two X pen in my bedroom, um, and I layered it with like an old bed sheet that I was gonna toss. And the towel from yesterday with their hair and stuff. Oh, as well, no chasing. Okay, so I just moved them in so they are starting a new process. So just watching them. Um, I'm gonna set up the camera in a sec and then I'm going to shower. I'll just show you, I'll show you guys the setup. Um, fun. So tired. Um, but basically, this is where they're supposed to stay for a couple, they said hours, but I'm going to do a day, um, just to be safe. If there are no fights over some time, I will leave it that. So she's, like, pretty calm. I think she's even about to sleep. <laughs> um, Azul, on the other hand, is, is trying to escape. Escape artist. Um, so... Things are okay. Um, they could be better. In the case of they're falling madly in love and they can live together without all of this um, problems. But yeah, um, I need to shower. I need to get dressed for the day. I'll come back with another band-aid. Um, so yeah, bye guys. <laughs> My second one today. Um, it's hot chocolate with Bailey's. It is so good. So we're gonna be doing this today. So it's like um 
like almost like a gingerbread house but made out of um kit kat because i wanted to i've never made a gingerbread house before but i heard on tiktok that you can't eat it and i'm like so i'm gonna make all of this and i can't eat it so no um so i decided to get the kit kat version there was the oreo one but um this one was gonna ship faster with amazon um so yeah i don't know how hard this is but i feel like it should be easy for me like i'm an engineer like this is this is nothing it better be nothing okay yeah let's get this done <laughs> days I it was like dark there was no sun it was cloudy so I just like vanished from the world um my hair is a mess I don't know um I just wanted to show you guys what I got yesterday I got a new pot set I don't know why it's making me so happy but I'm so happy because last time I got a pot set was like four years ago and those pots have seen better days um so i'm looking for like a like a neutral aesthetic pot set and i couldn't find any that i really liked until i found this one on walmart um i really like it i haven't seen it yet but like i really liked when i saw it um the only issue i have with it is there are only like three pots not like two pots and like a saucepan and i need more than that to cook um but apparently they have a bigger, like a, I think an eight quart size by the same um, company, but it's only in the US. I can't find it in the Canadian Walmart website, but that's for another day. And then I also got the matching um, personal blender. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, let's open up together. Don't 
just with the make man see ya. Yeah. Yeah. And me, I understand, so your dad know like me. Yeah. See me, I won't make him know, send me there for you, Kara. And if not, you prize me, that's why I like to. Okay, so what I will say is that it's really pretty. It looks really pretty. Like the white and the gold is so beautiful. Same thing with the personal blender. Like, um, the only thing I will say is it's kind of small. Um, like this is the biggest size. Um, this is not going to contain photo jalop for anybody. Um, <laughs> Well, it's really pretty. I really want to get the bigger sizes. So they have the bigger size pot and then the bigger size um, saucepan. Um, I just can't seem to find it in the Canadian Walmart, but it's in the US Walmart. And I don't know how I'm going to get it to me. Um, but it's really pretty. I'm so happy. Um, but it's not very functional for like cooking often. Um, not cooking often, but like cooking like bigger sizes. like. It's more like if you're cooking for one person, um, but if you're cooking for like two, three, four people, you need the bigger size, not the small size. Um, cause like this is one of the frying pans, like my head, I need to, uh, my head is bigger than this. So yeah, but it's really pretty. I'm very happy with it. I just need to find a way to get the bigger size to me because I'm going to need it. Like I cook too much and too often for this to be the bigger size of pot I have. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I uh, really like it, not gonna lie. And it comes with like the hot protectors, so like if you stack them, you don't like um, you don't, like scratch the pan, which is nice. Um, what I and I'm very happy the inside is not white because I bought um, like a saucepan like a year ago, and then I cooked turkey in it with curry, and the color was never white again. Or like it wasn't white, it was more like beige, but it was never the same color again. So I'm very happy the inside is not white. That way if I cook something like stew or something with color, or turmeric or curry, it wouldn't like change the color. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty. Look, look at the color itself. Um, and I've unboxed that, so that's good. I do have to get to work because that's where I make my money. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to unbox this for you guys. I'll see you guys later in the evening. Hey guys, I'm going to a seafood boil with my friend and after that we're going shopping. And after that we're going out for um, Christmas like cocktails. This is a place in downtown that does it. So I just wanted to do a very quick makeup look. Um, so we're going to try and do that five minute, no foundation, natural, all of that, you know, five minutes of that fun stuff. So I'm just going to set the timer. I honestly know that this is going to end in tears because five minutes, I can't, I'm not even doing my eyebrows, but it's fine. Um, we're going to start it now. I'm just going to bring up everything I'm going to use because okay, we don't have time to be searching makeup box for be it something. Okay, so we're starting the timer. Now, um, okay. Jesus. See, I already know I'm going to fill this thing, so but let's try. I've already spent 30 seconds opening product. Okay. You know what? I don't think I'm really going to do much to these eyebrows because the time I spend doing my eyebrows alone is the, is the full five minutes. With extra. Okay. So, I'm just gonna cover up the scars on my face with a concealer that's like almost the same shade as me, or the closest I can get, um, just to cover up my discoloration. Can see, I have not, especially around my mouth. Normally, I would color correct if I was doing like major, major makeup, but I'm going to not eat as cut on my face. So, um, so 
is just mainly to even out my skin tone because the lower part of my face is like so dark. I got all the pimples I have been enduring over many months. And I didn't put on um, primer. <laughs> it's five minutes. It's five minutes. I don't have time for primer. Whatever is left on the brush is going on my forehead because you know, I can't stress myself. Um, I'm actually so late. I'm supposed to be there in like 40 minutes. I haven't done my hair, or not, but I haven't like done, finished my hair and I haven't gotten dressed. So this should be fun. I think this is okay. I'm wearing a turtleneck, so it's fine. Um, concealer, I'm using the Huda Beauty. Overachiever concealer. I haven't used it before, um, but I'm out of my regular concealer. So still, let me try something. Got it like that some time ago. Just a little bit on my under eyes because God damn it, this is light. This is very light. Yeah, that's light. Okay. Okay. We're just going to wing it. Honestly, it's fine. Why does it look so patchy? Oh my god. It looks so patchy. Like, I don't understand. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Oh my god. It looks so bad. Maybe it's just my eye. Hold on. No, let me just blend this. How many minutes do we have left? There's no hope because it's saying one minute and I'm still fighting concealer that is looking, making me look like a freaking ghost. Oh my god, this is a bad idea. Oh my god. Okay, let's fix this. Let us fix this. Give me one second. This concealer and me are not friends. Just gonna wipe most of it off. I need to go back to my regular concealer because this is not good. Maybe I got the wrong Huda Beauty Concealer because this was not what I was expecting. Like, I look casket ready. I hate rushing, but I'm always rushing because somebody is always late. Oh, I need to put this band. Yeah. Okay. The camera is up. So it's not five minutes, anything. Those girls on TikTok are lying. They're actually lying. You know what, I think, maybe it's just me, maybe it's just me, I'm slow, and it's, this is very chaotic. <laughs> it's not five minutes, it's more like ten. Let's do the cold girl, whatever, what do you call it, cold girl or something? You add like a crazy amount of blush. Um, please don't disgrace me, we don't have time for all of this. Because my friend just called me and she's like, she's dressed, she's almost done, I'm here, barely, even, I'm not dressed. Something always goes wrong. Now, something is in my damn eye, and... <laughs> something is in my damn eye, and it's bothering me, and once my eye starts to tear up, that's the end of the makeup. Forget anything I have done, because it's going to me. My friend is going to kill me. She's actually going to freaking kill me, because I'm late. Not only am I late, or, like, I'm not late yet, but I'm going to be late. I know that for a fact. We're supposed to meet there for four, or meet in uh meet there or meet in the mall. I don't know. Um we're supposed to meet there for four and I know for a fact I'm going to be late. If I am not late, I'll get there exactly on time, which I know is a lie. Um so we're just going to accept me for who I am, which is not an early person. I draw any eyeliner right now in the condition that I am in impossible well I don't have time for you to be fighting me so as some of you may notice my accent slips here and there it goes from Canadian or the closest to Canadian I can ever get to Nigerian whenever I'm stressed comes out to play because it's just a second nature right so how many print curls did I put on my head? 
Okay, don't burn my shampoo. And if anyone is asking where is the hair from, I've had it for like five years. I got it in Nigeria, so I can't really um, tell you where it's from. It's like from a random vendor. Uh, but I've had it for so long, um, and it's been very faithful. It's just like a closure wig, nothing extra. Um, so yeah, just loose curls and I don't know these are come on this side because one side is looking very lumpy. I'll be using my eye. It's not my eye, it's shown on the camera too. It seems like my head is bigger on this side. So just going to go, oh I really like the curls. Oh so we're just running to my bedroom right now because as usual, we're late. Um okay, let me just adjust this camera. Hey guys, um so as usual I am late. Um, my camera died, so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I don't know if you can see me properly from the a little far from the camera. Um, so I'm wearing old navy pants, they're a little loose in the back. I was supposed to get them tailored, but I don't have that time. Um, they're just like regular black pants with uh, pleated designs and uh, just um, what is this? A black turtleneck. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, Grand Soir, just this fall. You know, it's time to pull up the heavier, deeper scents. Um, and that is more than enough because Grand Soir is very strong. Um, and then I'm just using like a, a necklace. You know, it's, it's not fall, it's winter. Black turtlenecks and winter go hand in hand. So black turtlenecks and um, a gold chain go hand in hand. So, so I have my necklace on now. Um, why is it looking so dark in my eye? I'll do that later. Um, I need to get my coat. Give me one second. Okay, so currently the temperature, uh, this camera is trying to disgrace me. Okay, that's much better. Um, it's like negative something and I'm wearing a coat instead of an actual parker. But it's fine. It's fine. If you want to be fine, you need to wear you need to soft wax more coat. Um, so yeah, this coat is from Zara. I freaking love it. I love the details, like the balloon sleeve, the color. I don't know if it's showing up as well on camera, but I freaking love it. Um, so that is what I'm wearing. Bag, I don't know. Um, shoes, I also don't know. But uh, we'll find out. Just give me like five minutes. So I'm just wearing this YSL bag and also black boots from Zara because that's the first thing I saw in my wardrobe. This is the full, okay, well, you can't see the full outfit now, but I'm at the door. I'm not going back inside that room to show you outfits. But yeah, this is the coat. I think I look cute. Um, yeah. I mean, my pants are a little loose, but anybody gonna see that. So I'll see you guys when I get to wherever, where, the first place I go to. <laughs> Sometimes I wish you knew But I disguise the truth I say I'm happy but I'm still stuck on us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does your mind play this game too? Think about me and you I guess I'll just pretend Until it all makes sense mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See you face to face I'm thinking about the days we used to be But I can't make a scene No, I can't make a scene See you face to face I'm thinking about the days we used to be But I can't make a scene no, I can't make a scene You You Even if it's true Even if it's true Yeah 
I guess it's over too. Tell me your point of view. Tell me, am I to blame? You're so good with change. Mm -hmm. A table set for two. You got me waiting, but you ain't coming through. Try to stay patient, but gotta face the truth. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. See you face to face, I'm thinking about the days we used to be. But I can't make a scene. No, I can't make a scene. See you face to face, I'm thinking about the days we used to be. But I can't make a scene. No, I can't make it.